Peter Willoughby, welcome to the university. Thank you very much. You're Managing Director of MTT. You're right. here today to uh, sign a memorandum of understanding with the university to collaborate in the future. That, uh, that, that's right, yes. But you've had a long number of years <laughs> it has, with been, the university, haven't you? Yes, we've um, waited a long time. We should have signed this uh, understanding such a long time ago. 20 years we've been together now. Yes. Uh, doing uh, all kinds of research and all, all, all kinds of uh, uh, activity. Uh, the university have now been instrumental in solving the skills gap that my company encounters, as well as providing lots of uh, uh, research and problem solving in uh, some of the um, uh, problems that we encounter when we're helping our clients solve some of their uh, technical metrology solutions on machine tools. Um, the KTPs, uh, for example... You're working on one at the moment, aren't you? Um, yeah, well, have you had three in total? Well, we've, we've had three in total. Uh, we've, um, we, we've, we're three months into uh, one which is on the thermal distortion of machine tools. And we are just, we've just put an application on that we're hoping to hear from for next week for our fourth KTP which will be uh, to develop a system for PLC programming on machine tools. Um, what it will also do, uh, will also provide us with a, an individual that's got the capacity to be able to do PLC programming on machines, because at the moment we, we've been trying for five years to recruit somebody. That is the beauty of a knowledge transfer partnership. You get a researcher, if you like, that works between uh, MTT and the university, and then they stay on with the company. Yes, and there's a little bit more than that as, as well. We, we, we find that we have a, a system that's embedded in the company, not just an individual. I don't think the KTP system would work very well if it was just supplying a resource, because if that resource then moves on from your company, you, you've lost that knowledge. It's the embedding of knowledge that's the key, and secondary to that is the individual that's staying on within the company. Um, so we, you know, as I said before, we've been hugely successful. We've, we have really filled uh, a skills gap uh, that, that, that we've encountered in the company, but also provided the knowledge. And this was born out of, in, in the past, maybe 15 years ago, we would use researchers from the university to help us in industry. But as these guys have developed, their times and their calendars are far more busy and we can't use them anymore. And so, uh, you know, the KTP system has really fitted very well into and that. I know you're also involved with uh, another project uh, to do with uh, Innovate UK. That, that's Just right. tell us a little bit about yes, that. Yes, uh, we were fortunate enough to be the uh, lead uh, industrial con um, contributor for uh, uh, an Innovate TSB funded project, which is for virtual machining. Uh, it's to um, develop a, a system for bridging the gap between uh, the complexity of the machine tool error and the end user of the machine tool. So it, we, you know, we, we, we're very good in industry now at being able to measure what's wrong with the machine, mm -hmm. but the end user doesn't specifically understand what that means or can't utilise that information. So the intent of the virtual machine is to build the virtual model so that uh, the end user can then, before he decides to put a component on a machine, decide whether that machine is capable of doing it or not, or perhaps even uh, rewrite his part program so that the machine is then capable of so making more, that. More efficient and, and, and most importantly, value for money then. Uh, oh, definitely, you know, yes. Because uh, yes. uh, the, it cuts down the error. Simply, oh, of course it does, simple yes. As that. Yeah, of course and, it and does. If, um, uh, you had a message to, to give to other managing directors um, in other companies, not necessarily machine tools. Would you advocate them to work with the university? Oh, oh definitely. Particularly the University of Huddersfield, because one, one, one thing that we found is that the, in, in, in some relationships with, with other universities, there's a disparity between where the academic uh, uh, side is and where the industrial need is. One thing about the University of Huddersfield that's very clear to me is that they bridge that gap. Uh, so uh, one statement I often use is that not only can I have an academic input to a problem that's, uh, that, that makes people feel safe and comfortable, but the guys will also get the steel toe caps on and get on the shop floor. And that's very important to us. And we feel comfortable taking the guys into our environment because we're all speaking the same language. And that's what's, that's what's pertinent and that's what's relevant to us. Thank you.
The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.